photos were the thing that uh, then led us to her as they kind of got out onto the children's social media and then parents saw it and going, what the heck is this? A new teacher. A former middle school teacher admits to locking her classroom door and having sex with one of her students on graduation day. Michelle Solis had tried to deny the crime for more than a year. Now she's learned her punishment and the DA who put her away is here to talk about how they found out about the crime. Welcome to Crime Fix. I'm Anjanette Levy. Michelle Solis was an eighth grade teacher in Gridley, California. She was trusted to teach and lead her students. Instead, the district attorney in Butte County said that she preyed on one of her students, a 14-year-old boy, and then had sex with him on graduation day. The incident happened back in June of 2021. Solis and the boy were 29 years apart in age. The DA says Solis, a wife and mother to two children herself, started following the boy on Instagram in the weeks leading up to graduation. The grooming started with messages. And then, Solis sent the boy explicit photos of herself, four to be exact. DA Mike Ramsey will join me in just a bit. Ramsey said at first the student kind of liked the attention that he was getting online from Michelle Solis. But then on graduation day, Solis committed the ultimate act of betrayal. The 14-year-old boy was brought into her classroom at Sycamore Middle School in Gridley, and Solis locked the door and forced herself on that child. You're going to hear how that student felt about this right from Mike Ramsey. Time would pass, but rumors started to circulate in Gridley. It's a small town. And the photos that Solis had sent to the boy started making the rounds. This was around October of 2023, more than two years later. Gridley police started investigating. Solis, knowing it was wrong, told the student to delete their messages. He did not. Police found the messages and the photos on the boy's Instagram account. At first, Solis denied all of this, but in the spring, she pleaded guilty to one count of sex with a minor. A judge last week sentenced Solis to the max, four years in a California state prison. Her attorney had argued that Solis should get probation because this was only one act. Can you imagine? A teacher. Someone trusted to teach and provide a safe environment for a student argues to a judge but I only forced myself on the kid one time and in a classroom, no doubt. Unbelievable. I want to take just a moment to tell you about an amazing lip plumper and proud sponsor of Crime Fix called City Lips. It honestly has made my lips look 10 years younger. As someone who's always on camera, City Lips has been a game changer. It's not like those painful lip plumpers that sting and burn. City Lips gives you fuller, healthier, younger looking lips. I used it for two weeks, once in the morning and once at night. And let me tell you, I've noticed a huge difference. They even have a 60 day money back guarantee. So why not try it? Here's how it works. It uses clinically tested ingredients like hyaluronic acid spheres, peptides and soothing moisturizers for long lasting comfort. Just swipe it on clean bare lips and experience immediate hydration. After a few minutes, you'll experience the full plumping effects of city lips. And with continued use, women have experienced even more dramatic results. To get this game-changing all-in-one lip solution, click the link in the description, scan the QR code on your screen, or go to citybeauty.com slash lccrimefix. Use the code LAW15 for 15% off. That's promo code LAW15 for 15% off of your order. Joining me to discuss this case is Mike Ramsey. He's the district attorney of Butte County. Mike, thanks for coming on. Uh, tell me, first of all, your reaction to the sentence. You got the maximum sentence for Michelle Solis. Her attorney had asked for probation. Yeah, actually, her attorney had asked for probation, but in the way he asked for it, it was probably not the best way he told the judge well it was just one act only one act well that only one act was at the end of a long series of grooming that had happened and so the judge was not impressed with that and gave the maximum sentence let's talk about the grooming aspect of it, of this because these days everybody and i mean everybody teachers students they have one of these and everybody's right. on social media. And so I don't know. I, when I was a kid, we didn't have social media and we didn't have cell phones. Uh, so my teachers never called me at home on the phone. 
to talk to me, to chat with me. Um, but these days, it sounds like a lot of these cases start with the teachers interacting with the students on social media. Uh, so that's how this started. She reached out to him on Instagram, started sending messages, and then it developed into explicit photographs. Is this normal? Is this what teachers do these days? I mean, are teachers actually communicating with their students on their cell phones and on social media um, when we're talking about uh, like a normal teacher-student relationship? No. Uh, and that became apparent in our investigation that uh, she had been warned at other times to not be uh, down at the level of her students. Uh, she had been uh, kind of chastised that she was acting too much like an eighth grader with her with her students, uh, that she was doing social media. She, uh, in fact, we had one indication from uh, some of the girls in the, her class that she seemed to want them out of the class so she could be alone with the boys and act flirtatious with them. Whoa. Wow. Yep. Uh <laughs> Wow. Uh, and we've heard that. That's a common thread, too. We've heard this in other cases where these teachers try to isolate the male students uh, from female students or get them away from their girlfriends. I mean, what have you seen cases like this before? We've seen. Uh, fortunately, they're very rare, uh, but we have seen uh, cases in which we have uh you know student and teacher romances this was particularly uh well in a sense disgusting by virtue of the fact that this 14 year old boy was just uh, sucked in to this situation by by this teacher that obviously was sending instagram and snapchat uh kind of flirtatious activity over the over the phone, over the social media, and then uh, photos, uh, and then eventually into the classroom on his the morning of his grad, eighth grade graduation. Uh, brought him in, locked the door, and had sex with him. And he, as he indicated, he was pretty shocked and confused and didn't know what was going on. He had. Uh, felt that the attention that the teacher was giving him was was good at the beginning, but then to suddenly get to this point um, really was uh, for this boy, as he said later, he said he felt he had been raped. His friends noticed and his family noticed the entire change in his attitude, and he kind of started being much more lonely, much away from his friends. But it was, uh, in a sense, those friends that uh, uh, unveiled this because he had shared some of these photos with some of his buddies. So those uh, photos were the thing that uh, then led us to her as they kind of got out onto the children's social media and then parents saw it and going, what the heck is this? A nude teacher. Yeah, I... <laughs> Well, thank goodness, those friends. And uh, there are a couple of things I want to unpack there, you know, and we've talked about sure. this on the show before. Um, the fact that a lot of times there's this weird stereotype that, oh, it's a boy. And so this is what bo boys would enjoy something like that. He's a 14 year old kid, first of all, he's right. a child. Uh, so obviously you're saying he didn't enjoy it. It sounds like he liked the attention he was getting from the teacher on social media, but then things escalated very quickly and it's my understanding too like not only did she rape him sexually assault him in the classroom on his eighth grade graduation day she also locked the door so he wouldn't he's right. not going to be able to escape and get out and she's an authority figure so talk to me about this misnomer this this ridiculous assertion that people have that oh it's a boy he, he he'll like it obviously yeah. this one this boy didn't and i would think most of them don't Right. And what you have is the, the old uh, saws, geez, where was she when I was 14? You know, that type of thing. But that that is not the way that these uh, spin out. I mean, this this child uh, had something fairly precious taken from him. 
and he had a very difficult time with it. And in fact, uh, when the rumors first started back uh, when this was uh, his eighth grade graduation, three now, this is three years ago, uh, the rumor started. Uh, he was asked, uh, have you had sex with your teacher? It appears someone saying there's pictures and so forth. And he was so frightened that he thought he was in trouble. And so therefore denied it and kept that to himself until the picture then a couple of years later, uh, resurrected itself, one of the pictures. And then the, he was a little older, a little more mature at that point and decided this, this was wrong. And I will tell the truth now. And you ask, you know, why did she get the upper term? Well, back when this was first, uh, the rumor first came about that uh, a teacher was having sex with this boy, she reached back out to him on social media and said, oh, please don't say anything. Please dump all your social media. Please do not um, do this to me. Um, and... That's, you know, that type of activity, that lack of responsibility um, caused the judge to give that upper term. What, what's concerning to me as well, um, you know, as a mother, is the fact that, you know, I, I don't think these things happen in a vacuum. And you said she had been warned in the past. So is there any evidence or any suspicion or belief that there are other victims out there? Lots of rumors, lots of suspicion, uh, but nothing, no hard evidence on that. You said that she had been warned in the past by school officials to stay away uh, from the students or at least to to not be engaging them. She had major boundary issues, it sounds like, with right. reaching out right. to them in they, ways she shouldn't have been, uh, to put it lightly. Uh, I mean, what did it just not go rise to the level where they felt they had to discipline her or possibly dismiss her? Right. It, it had not risen to that level. It was just, geez, uh, what's, you know, get your boundaries straight here. You're a teacher, you know, get, uh, you're not one of the, not one of the kids. Uh, this is what was indicated to us that she really wanted to be part of the, 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 the class. That was how she interacted with her class was being another eighth grader. Uh, and some other teachers and even friends said, you know, you got to knock that off. Sounds like she didn't, and she took it no. really, really far. Uh, I'd be interested to see if she has done this any to any other students. Um, yeah. You know, is the yeah, investigation we, uh, still going on, or is it still ongoing? It it's no, it's pretty much concluded at this point. I mean, it, with the investigation, where it, we. Uh, got the information, this was last October, October 23, uh, filed the case in November and with somewhat of the expectation that we might see people come forward. Uh, Gridley, California, where the, the school is, uh, is a very small town. It's been only about 5,000 people. Uh, everyone knows everybody. So the expectation was, well, uh, She's been there for a while that we might see some other students come forward. But then again, we also see that uh, small town, uh, some of the kids that may have been victims would not want that out there uh, on their reputation. And, and I, I think you see that type of thing a lot. Um, if it happened, if, uh, you know, there's shame that accompanies that type of thing. Uh, you know, she got four years in prison and you explained the reasons why she did and that was the upper end of what she could have received. Uh, but we've sure. covered a lot of cases and we, we've we covered, you said they're rare. I mean, obviously rare in your county, in Butte County, but we've covered a lot of these on the show. A lot of these female teachers uh, who are getting in trouble for having sex with students, inappropriate relationships and the such. I, I mean, I, I, I don't understand it. Uh, do you have any maybe thoughts yeah. on that about why we're seeing so many more female teachers? It, for a long time, it seemed like there were a lot of male teachers. Now it's a lot of female teachers. Uh, yeah, I've seen the, the media on that. And to explain that, 
We were looking forward to uh, at the sentencing hearing, her attorney had sent her to a psychologist to do a deeper dive into her psyche, as it were, as to maybe the reasons why. And that report was completely useless. I mean, she All she did was say, yes, I will now admit after denial, after denial, after denial, yeah, that I had, uh, I had inappropriate sexual conduct uh, with a student. Done. No why. Uh, what's your motivation? What? Uh, why would uh, you uh, do this? As a, you know, I think she's. Uh, f you're a 46 year old woman. Why do you need to do this with a, a 14 and a mother? Uh, she's a, also has children uh, of her own. Right. Uh, we've seen that. Uh... It's confounding. Uh, well, Mike Ramsey, we, we hope that victim, you know, the boy, the teenage boy, uh, gets the help that he needs uh, because he's going to need some help uh, in the years to come to kind of deal with this and come to terms with it and move forward. Uh, thank you so much for coming on. We appreciate it. Well, you're very welcome. And hopefully, <laughs> hopefully uh, somewhere, sometime, we can kind of uh, figure out a magic uh, potion to stop this this is uh, besides disgusting is uh, devastating to the to the victims no doubt thank you all righty after michelle Solis serves her time she will have to register as a sex offender and she has been ordered to stay away from that boy for 10 years that's it for this episode of crime fix i'm Anjanette levy thanks so much for being with me i'll see you back here next time